Today I'm going to show y'all before the video starts, just go over a few things that you'll see in the video, but I'm going to go over them with you real quick. Um, I made this, I even looked up the pronunciation for this word and I still don't understand how to pronounce it. So I'm going to make a stab at it and then I'm going to call it something else. I think it's a cloche, cloche, C-L-O-C-H-E, and like I say, I looked it up on Google, tried to see what the correct pronunciation is, and I didn't even understand the pronunciation. Like I say, my southern accent, I, I probably can't even pronounce it, but it basically, it's a, a bell-shaped, and it's a covering, so we're going to call it a covering, <laughs> So, because I can say that, but anyway, this is a Dollar Tree hanging basket. I took the chain off of it. Um, I had it in a previous project and it was painted, spray painted cream. I left it cream. We took some chicken wire, as you're going to see in the video, and we cut it a little bit uh, bigger than the dimension of the basket. And we laid it down in the inside of it and kind of formed it into the bowl shape. And then it overlapped out here. And once we got it to where we kind of trimmed it up where it overlapped right in this area. We kind of trimmed it up on the inside and kind of connected the wires back together because it'll be a little bit too big once you get it in here. Um, and then we took the edges with some needle nose pliers and all the little edges, we just went with the needle nose pliers and just kind of wrapped those around and then make sure there's no sharp edges. The only thing about this project is easy to make Chicken wire is easy to work with as far as it being flexible and it's easy to cut, but it also, when you cut it, it also gets very sharp on the ends and it can hurt you. So I highly recommend if you do this, do this wearing some good thick gloves so you don't um, scratch or cut yourself with these, you know, little sharp ends as you're working with it. And then, like I say, with the needle nose, then you can just go, go on and, and bend them around and that way they're not poking through. But this is supposed to look rustic, farmhousey. And as I was putting the chicken wire on it, it chipped off the paint. So I was like, oh no. But anyway, I went with it because I love the look it gave it. I love the chippy paint. So this actually, it made it look distressed and I didn't even have to work on it. This also wanted to let you know, there are so many options for this. This would also look good if you spray painted it like a solid brown, maybe added some rust effect to it. I think it would also look really good if you did it a dark matte gray. You could spray paint the whole thing, the wire, the, the frame and everything. Now, the thing that I liked was, I don't know if you saw my video on the tray I made last week out of the pizza pan. But if you didn't, I'll have a link for that below. But it it goes good with it if you pair it. And like I say, I think it would look good, you know, painted any color that you want. So the next thing I think that makes this piece a great feature, and I'm going to go over that with you, is all the many options that you can make to make the top. You can put uh, ceramic birds on here. Uh, there's can of jar canisters. These are just things I had around my house that I had thoughts that would be make great toppers. If you use a different size basket, you can go with a larger size. If you do something like this, just a jar canister that I had, just take the lid off of it. I think this would work well. You could paint it, spray it, and like I think that would be gorgeous. I think the thing that makes this is it's so rustic looking on its own but it's what you're gonna put up here on the topper that's really gonna deck it out and make it make it look really good. This is just like a mason jar lid or a jar lid that's been painted. And then I love door, door knobs that come off old drawers and doors. And if I'm at yard sales or thrift stores, anywhere I've, I'll pick them up if they're at a good price and I just use them for later projects. Well, in this case, I put one on top of a jar lid and see this right here fits perfect up there. So if you want to kind of frou-frou it up and you have the glass, I think this would be beautiful. You can use this anywhere in your home. I think it'd be pretty, you know, in your kitchen. It would also be pretty in your bathroom. And, and I've staged it several ways just to give you more ideas. And also lamp finials. You know, I know y'all hear me say every week, lamp finials. Well, 
I have so many. I have a collection, I guess. But you could, you know, put these up here. Mason jar lids, rings and flats. Glue them together, spray paint them, and then put that up here. And then put whatever finial, you know, you want up here. And I th think these would make, make great pieces for it. And also, um, this is a piece off of a lamp. And I, this right here, and I, this is what I used a lot in the video because I didn't want to hot glue anything onto it because I wanted to show you the different variations of what you can do and give you more ideas. This is from a previous project. So I just, you know, you can set this up here. And I think that's what I like about the farmhouse, the rustic look is there are so many textures of things you can put together that look good. And there's so many colors you can put together that make things look good. So with the textures, and you can put wood with metal. This is one of those wood circles at Walmart that come in a pack. You can paint this however color you want. This one's black. Um, I had a, a chicken uh, salt and pepper shaker. Sorry, right here. I've got to say it, one's white, one's black. You know, you could put a chicken on top of it. You could paint it however color you want it. You can make it, put it on here and then spray paint the whole thing and have it all one solid color. Um, so anyway, this is a curtain rod finial, something like this. Just use your imagination. This is a jar lid, um, that. I even got a mayonnaise jar lid out of the refrigerator. It fits perfect. So anything, I mean like a pickle jar lid, paint it and put it on here and then add whatever little decorative piece you want to and it's really gonna make it come together. And the things that I staged it with, you know, it go with galvanized metal and you know, I stack things because you can put it on a tray, you can put it on a charger. You can even put your charger on something like this. Um, this come from Dollar General, I think it was $5. But anyway, I put it on the bottom and I stack the start charger on top just to give it some more height. And then I put the covering uh, on it. And then, like I say, it's endless what you can put inside of this. You put whatever is your favorite things and you decorate it for the seasons. So anyway, I'm gonna stop here. Just wanna give you a few more little ideas and give you a little extra information before we get started. And I really hope you enjoy the video and I hope this inspires you to make something of your own. Thanks so much.